I'm Susan B. Anthony. I was born February 15, 1820 in Adams, Massachusetts. I was born into a politically active family. I had two brothers and three sisters. I went to a boarding school until my father took me out because his business failed. A while later, we moved to a farm near the Rochester, New York, near Rochester, New York. A while later, I I attended a, I went to a temperance conf, I attended a temperance conference to stop or lower the sales of alcohol. But I was denied the right to speak because I was a woman. It was then that I realized women would not be taken seriously in politics unless they had the right to vote. So it was then that I that I decided to spend the rest of my life tr trying to help women get their rights. Then a while later, I met Elizabeth Stanton. She was also fighting for women's rights. Together, we founded the National Women's Suffrage Association. We led petitions, and and then I voted and was arrested late and was uh, arrested later. My um. My trial was proven innocent, so I continued to help women get their rights. And then I attended my our first speech at a nurses' convention, but sadly I did not live long enough to see women get their rights, because I died in March 13, 1906, because of a heart disease and pneumonia in both of my lungs. Some of my famous quotes were, men, their rights, and nothing more women, their rights, and nothing less. And I've also, I also said, freedom is happiness. But hello, I am Elizabeth K. Stanton. I was born in November 12, 1815 in Johnstown. In 1826, my brother died. He was the last brother to survive, but he died too soon. So when I went to my father, who was sitting by the um, coffin, I sat on his lap and he said, I wish you were a boy. So over time, I tried to be a boy, but he kept saying, I wish you were a boy. In 1840, I got married to Henry Brewster Stanton and had seven children. Um, children. In, 18, in um, 1848, we had a women's rights convention, and I signed for the um, Declaration of Sentiments. In 1852, I met my friend Susan B. Anthony, and we worked um, hard together to get women's rights. Sadly, I died on October 26, 1902, and I was buried at Wood Woodlawn Cemetery. Do you have any artifacts? I have a few artifacts. I have a sign that we made that, said, that says votes for women. And I have two other artifacts. I have a silver dollar which my face was printed on. But this isn't one that her face, my face was printed on. And I have a coin that she probably had. It's um, a buffalo coin, and it was made when she was born. I have the dec thing that she signed for the Declaration of Sentiments, and I have she wrote friendly letters to help encourage other people, other women. Thank you.